In the meantime, New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady is fighting back against a four-game suspension stemming from using deflated footballs. Brady is meeting with the NFL commissioner as he appeals his suspension. Our Robert Burton is live with where things stand now. Robert, when's this thing going to be put to rest? Well, we don't exactly know that right now, but for now, let's take a trip back to that AFC title game where the Patriots just stumped on the Indianapolis Colts. And definitely there was a catch right there because allegedly the footballs were, of course, deflated. Now, a report by New York attorney Ted Wells had said Tom Brady was more than likely aware that those footballs were deflated. So Brady took a trip to the courthouse to appeal a four-game suspension, as you mentioned, without pay. That was issued by the NFL. The proceedings started at 9.30 this morning. Today, ESPN's Adam Scheffner tweeted out that Brady's testifying under oath, trying to help his case against that four-game suspension. The key question for this hearing will be if Ted Wells' report was flawed and based on circumstantial evidence that was mischaracterized. Both NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and Attorney Ted Wells attended the hearing. Also today, NFL spokesperson Greg Aiello tweeted, Brady's team has no strict limit to try and make a case. Now, here's an interesting fact right here. If that four-game suspension holds up on Tom Brady, he will lose $1.88 million in salary. Also, law experts are tweeting out that Tom Brady, if he is under oath, not only will he affect his career, but also his freedom. Live at Nats Park, Robert Burden, ABC 7 News. All right, Robert, thank you.